Hey guys, I know I said the next video was going to be a fighting game gold, but this just dropped and I'd really like to talk about it because it's really interesting. This is Beyond Melee, and it's a new melee mod, which is incredibly impressive, honestly. I kind of wanted to do sort of a first impressions video, mainly on the character that I play in melee, who was significantly changed in Beyond Melee. Now, what I just said might raise a few questions, because I've said at multiple points that I main Mewtwo in Melee, and up until recently that was the case. See, it's not that I'm dropping Mewtwo because I don't like them, it's that they're a really input-heavy character, and it started to genuinely hurt my hands lately, so I just really didn't want to go on like that. I did try Ganondorf, because, you know, I typically like slower, heavier, grappler-type characters, but I was a bit put off by his lack of a good get out of shield move and his pretty bad grab. His throws are great, but his grab is really bleh and his dash grab is awful. Even then, you might find it weird that I ended up on Bowser considering not only is he absolutely terrible, but he's just kind of not able to play melee. He really needs reads to get anything done. And yeah. But I kind of loved that, and I never really thought about it until I played him more, but that's actually extremely fun. Yeah, you need reads to get anything done, but because of that, when you do get the read, you feel fucking awesome. Every cool Bowser clip is like 95% you guessing right 6 or 7 times in a row, and 5% Bowser. It's really, really fun when it works out. The reason this isn't fighting game gold or fighting game garbage is because... This character's existed for a day, it wouldn't really be fair to do something like that. I don't want to do an analysis, this is more like a first impression of the character. Overall, I think he's alright. I don't dislike Beyond Melee Bowser, but I definitely don't love them. If I woke up and Vanilla Bowser was replaced with this character, I'd be pretty upset. But as a fun little character I can just mess with on the side sometimes, I think they're good enough, but I do have my issues. Keep in mind though that this is all very subject to change. On top of being new, Beyond Melee is going to receive updates such as character changes and new characters and stuff like that, so it's not set in stone for sure. On top of that, since it's a new character, there's a good chance that cool shit could be found that improve my opinion of the character or that his new tools are just cooler than I realise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the change list in order and give my thoughts on each change. First off, and one of the best changes, is Bowser's Jump Squad. It's gone from 8 frames to 5 frames. This just does so much for Bowser, it's unreal. It gives him a faster wave dash, better out of shield, just better approach. This is a massive change, and it's extremely welcome. I am used to Bowser's 8 frame jump squad at this point, but I'm not going to pretend like this is a bad change. It's amazing. On top of the improved jump squad, he takes 4 frames to turn around instead of 8. And 4 frames to land instead of 6. I'm now going to hold shield down. The landing lag change is really nice actually. This was another thing that just fucked over Bowser for no reason. In melee, most characters take 4 frames to land, few heavier characters take 5, Pichu takes 2, and then Bowser takes 6. It's just a nice thing to bring him in line with the rest of the cast. Bowser now has a slightly bigger shield that covers his body better. Not a completely necessary change in my opinion, I never felt his shield was that bad, but I'm not going to pretend I don't appreciate it, this is nice. Bowser's walk starts up faster and is faster. Look at he go. Bowser now runs slightly faster. But more importantly in my opinion, his initial dash has more velocity. This means that Bowser's dash dance goes from complete shit but kinda funny... ...to just funny. It's significantly better. Also, just for the record, if I ever show any more footage on the regular version of Final Destination, that's Vanilla Melee. Beyond Bowser's spot dodge is like a million times better. 
In Vanilla Melee, it's invincible on frames 4 to 24, but the whole spot dodge lasts 42 frames, which is an awful lot. In Beyond Melee, it's invincible on frames 2 to 18, and the whole thing lasts only 27 frames. Pretty fantastic by comparison. Apart from the new trail effect, which for the record looks fantastic, Bowser's Jab 1 is pretty much the same. But his Jab 2 is amazing. Mainly because you can actually fucking combo into it. In Vanilla Melee, it's really common to be able to eat the first hit and then just shield and block the second, which sucks because it's really unsafe. This is just a million times better. You've pretty much given Bowser a Jab 2. Bowser's down tilt has 5 frames less end lag and the second hit comes out faster. This means at low percents, it's a lot easier to get both hits, and it just makes the move more consistent overall. Up tilt only got one change, but it's one that I can greatly appreciate. You can now interrupt the move on frame 40, down from frame 50. This just makes an already good move that much better. It's a better combo tool, it's a less committal anti-air. This is fantastic, and I, I really like it. Forward Tilt got a pretty simple change, but it's one that I can overall appreciate. In base melee, this move can do from 11 to 15 damage, and can have 25, 29, 31, or 32 base knockback, depending on how you angle it and which hitbox you get. Now, no matter what, it will always have a base knockback of 30, and do 15 damage. I appreciate the consistency, and the fact that it always does 15 damage, but personally I would have gone with 32 base knockback. It's not a big deal though. Dash attack received one change, and again, in my opinion, it's a great one. You can now interrupt it 10 frames earlier, on frame 46, down from 56. I think a lot of people would be like, wait, why not change the hitbox, doesn't this move suck? And yeah, it might look pretty bad, but you gotta realise, Bowser kinda rushes forward when he does it. This is one of those moves that I think people think it's worse than it actually is. This is one of Bowser's better moves in Vanilla Melee, it does a lot for him. Forward Air got two small buffs that go a long way. The strong hit does one more damage, and the weak hit can do one or two more damage, so 15 and 13 respectively. More importantly though, it has 5 frames less landing lag, so 2 less on L cancel. Down from 30 to 25 if you don't L cancel. This is fantastic. Fair is one of Bowser's better moves, and this just makes it a much better approach option. However, he's a lot more reliant on it, and I'll get into that later. Just for comparison, the safest I can make this move on shield in base melee is minus 7 or minus 8. So that means in beyond melee, you can make it at least minus 5, which is pretty great. You could even make it minus 4, but it's hard to say if the extra damage does enough shield stun to make that difference. Either way, it's a much better approach tool. In Beyond Melee, Bowser has a completely new down air. It's a massive improvement over his old one in my opinion. The old one was just kinda jank and didn't really do anything outside of some goofy edge cancel shit. This is genuinely a great move. Also, the hitbox is absolutely cracked. Might not look that crazy, but I don't know, I'm used to Bowser hitboxes, so it's really cool to me. I think this move's on-stage utility is a bit limited because it's very hard to make safe, but off-stage it's incredible. Bowser already had a very good edge guarding game, and this just makes it even better. I really like this move. For neutral air, they took an already fantastic move and made it absolutely cracked. The startup has been increased from frame 8 to frame 5, it does 2 more damage, and most importantly, the landing lag went from 30 frames to 23, so 15 to 12 on L cancel. This is amazing, honestly. In base melee, typically a well spaced L cancelled neutral air is going to be around minus 8 to minus 11. So now I guess you could get it as low as minus 5, which is great. Again, maybe minus 4 because of the increased damage, it's hard to say. Back air does 2 more damage and had the landing lag decreased from 35 to 29 before L cancel. This was one of Bowser's best moves and it got even better, I really appreciate this. In base melee, a well spaced L cancel back air is going to be around minus 10 to minus 13 on shield. 
So, again, this just makes it better on shield. It's gonna be like minus 7 to minus 10 now. Might even be better than that, because again, the damage went up, so it's hard to say, but it's definitely a better move for it. One strange thing in the patch notes is that they say the landing hit has been removed, but I didn't even know this move had a landing hit in vanilla melee, and I've looked for it, and I can't find it. Up air is a move that got one change, but man is it a fantastic one. The startup went from frame 22 to 17. I'm amazed that they left the power of the move alone after doing that, but I'm really happy they did. This move is insane. Bowser's standing grab is slightly bigger. This is just a nice quality of life thing. I, I appreciate this. However, they also increased the size of Bowser's dash grab, and this might be a little OD in my opinion, honestly. In base melee, Bowser kind of grabs with his nipples when he falls over, but in beyond melee, he grabs with, like, his chin. I don't know if people realize that Bowser's dash grab in vanilla melee isn't actually bad at all. People look at the terrible hitbox and they're like, wow, that sucks, but they forget that he falls over, which gives him a lot more range. This is actually pretty insane, and he can grab you from a really long distance. It's, it's fantastic, honestly. Only two of Bowser's throws were changed. Up throw has quite a few changes, but I definitely think it's for the better. It has a faster animation, the angle was changed from 70 to 75, the weight sec knockback was decreased from 120 to flat out zero. The base knockback went from zero to 70, and the knockback growth went from 100 to 105. Pretty much, this boils down to just making the move more consistent and act more similarly across the cast. I like this. Down throw got two pretty simple changes. The animation is now 35% faster, and it actually deals damage to Jigglypuff and Game and Watch. This is just a nice consistency thing, although it should be noted that Game & Watch isn't actually in Beyond Melee yet, so this pretty much only applies to Jigglypuff for the time being. Also, you might have noticed that after grabbing the opponent, Bowser suddenly glows red. This is actually tied to his new neutral special, which is a fireball. I absolutely love the idea behind this move, but I do have a few issues with it. If you press neutral special with no charge, Bowser just does this. I think it's a bit weird that this has no hitbox, but it's whatever, I guess. The fireball has two levels of charge. Doing one normal grab gives you a half charge. And doing two grabs or one Koopa Claw grab gives you the full charge. So, there are three small gripes I have with this move. Again, I think it's kind of weird that this does nothing. I think it would be cool if it either had a hitbox, or actually, maybe more interestingly, doing this gave you a half-charge fireball. I think that'd be neat. Secondly, I think Bowser's entire body glowing red, indicating when he has a charge, is a bit much. It looks a bit off in my opinion. And lastly, I think the mid-charge fireball is just a bit too weak. I don't know, the angle is pretty nasty, but it feels a bit underwhelming for something that you have to work to get. The full charge fireball feels perfect though, I, I wouldn't change a thing about it. The initial part of Bowser's side B got two changes, but they are both amazing. Firstly, the move is now much faster, it's frame 12 instead of frame 16. And secondly, the grab parts of the hitbox are significantly bigger. This is really, really nice. I love what they did with this move. However, both of the throws that you can do from side B were changed, and I'm kind of mixed on them. Although I do really like the idea. The forward throw is now 25% faster, which is good, because it's harder to react to. What I don't care for is that the angle it sends you at was made further away. It's gone from 80 to 75. This makes a throw that was already awkward to combo off of, if the opponent DI'd away, even harder to combo off, although there is a bit of a compensation made. Instead of being a kill move, the back throw off side B is now a second combo throw. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of this, they think it's a bit redundant, but I do genuinely like the idea here, personally. 
The idea is that if you're trying to DI away so you don't get comboed after a forward throw, you're going to be DIing perfectly for Bowser to combo you after a back throw. I do think it's a very nice dynamic, but it's a shame that the back throw kill throw couldn't have been in there somehow, like as an air throw. Also, the side B back throw has a new animation that's slightly different. Instead of throwing the opponent, he slams them into the ground. Now you might be thinking, man, that sure is an animation that exists in the video game. And that's something. And uh, fun fact, I did that animation. Yeah. There's one more special to talk about, but I'm just going to talk about his pummel first, because I have a lot to say about the last special move that was changed. Bowser's pummel does one less damage, but it's 15% faster. That's fine. I don't really have any opinion on this. It's just fine. The last move in the changelog is Bowser's grounded up B, and this is where most of my issues with this character lie, and some of them really, really do not sit right with me. However, some things I'm pretty fine with, and I'm going to go over them in the order that they bother me, from the ones that I'm completely fine with to the ones that I genuinely dislike. Firstly, it doesn't have any invincibility on the ground anymore. In base melee, this move is invincible from frames 1 to 4, and here it's just not. I'm okay with this. This is fine in my opinion. I get that they want to make Bowser a more aggressive character, and to be fair, this move is really annoying in base melee. The sweet spot of this move does 5 less damage, down from 13 to 8. Again, I think this is fine, they want to make it a weaker out of shield option, and I think this is a good way of doing it. Lowering damage is a good way to nerf a move, because it makes it feel the same. The move can no longer multi-hit, if you hit with the initial part, you can no longer hit with any other hitbox. This is just a bit weird in my opinion. I don't really dislike it, but I don't really see why this was changed. The sour spot of the move that did 5 damage doesn't last as long, and the one that did 3 damage is just gone. Again, I don't think this was necessary, but... eh. The move startup has been increased from frame 5 to frame 6. Yeah, not a fan of this one. I think taking away the invincibility is enough of a way to make it a worse out of shield option. I, I don't think this was necessary. Now for the changes to Upbeat that genuinely really hurt my enjoyment of the character, because they take away a lot of his identity in my opinion. The changes to his mobility. Bowser's grounded up B moves slower, turns slower, and keeps less momentum when turning. This just hurts so much of Bowser's game plan. It inhibits his ability to go to the ledge, go to the ledge out of shield, go to the ledge from platform, go to the ledge, do the invincible Yoshi story jump, and then go back to the ledge off the platform. It, these things are all really unique to Bowser, and this just hurts his capacity to do that a lot. I really don't understand it. Nerfing mobility tools is not fun. Beyond Melee is more offensively inclined than Vanilla Melee, and they probably wanted Bowser to be a lot more offensive and encourage him to approach the opponent more. However, the problem is that Bowser's ledge game was never overpowered. Sure, it's pretty good, but Bowser loved the ledge so much not because his tools there were amazing, but because he's fucking Bowser. His tools on the ground are awful, he is a character who cannot approach. He might as well just hang out on the ledge and use his decent tools there. The best way to get Bowser off the ledge is to give him tools on the ground that he can use instead of going to the ledge, not nerfing his ability to use the ledge. A complaint I've heard from a lot of Bowser players about Beyond Melee Bowser is that he's encouraged to approach the opponent, but he didn't actually get an approach option. I don't know if I'd entirely agree, but I definitely understand where they're coming from. It's hard to say if Bowser's approach is, you know, still that bad. I think the improved forward air, neutral air, and side B might help him out a lot, but still, his approach isn't great, that's for sure, and I think nerfing his ledge options and his mobility tools like this was just a bit too much. Bowser's ledge game in Beyond Melee is already somewhat hurt by the implementation of a ledge grab limit.
Of course, I didn't get it completely right, but Bowser was one of the few characters who could just stay completely invincible by re-grabbing the ledge with his double jump over and over and over. However, he can only do that a couple times now before re-grabbing the ledge does not give him invincibility. I think that alone would have done the job fine. Bowser still has his great tools to retreat to the ledge, and he still has his good ledge options. He just can't hang out there forever. I think that would have been just enough. Also, maybe it's just me, it might be a bit of a knee-jerk reaction, but it feels like Bowser's changes in Beyond Melee are a little bit modest compared to the rest of the cast. I don't know, it feels like other low and bottom tiers got a lot more new shit to play with, but who knows, maybe Bowser's better mobility outside of Up B will genuinely help him that much. It's hard to say, but I don't know. If Bowser stays the worst character in the game, I won't mind, that's what I'm used to. But I'd prefer, if he had to stay a bad character, that he felt a little bit more like Bowser. So that kind of sums up my thoughts on Beyond Melee Bowser. I do enjoy a lot of his new buffs, and I enjoy his new moves for the most part. It's just the upbeat mobility changes that I really, really do not like. I like this iteration of Bowser, but I do prefer vanilla Melee Bowser. I think if you just reverted the upbeat mobility changes, everything would be completely fine. Bowser's ledge game isn't overpowered, and if you want to keep Bowser off the ledge, the key isn't to nerf his ledge game, just give him things to do on stage. That's literally it. Bowser likes the ledge in melee because he's kind of dog shit everywhere else. So yeah, I like him, but I don't love him. So with that being said, what would I change about this character? I don't know really. I think the only thing that I'm kind of set in stone on is reverting the mobility changes for Upbeat. I don't think I really mind any of the other changes, although I think it'd be cool if the move hit on frame 5 again instead of frame 6. Other than that, I think it'd be cool if this gave you a mid-charge fireball, and if his side B back throw in the air was a kill move, just like vanilla melee. I think that's a good way to keep both people happy. Other than that, I would just recommend asking better Bowser players. I'm pretty crusty, I don't really know my shit. Something I will say though, is that even though I have my issues and I don't enjoy him as much as Vanilla Bowser, I appreciate Beyond Melee Bowser. I can appreciate and respect a redesign of a character that I don't particularly agree with, over just a copy-paste of the same character with some numbers changed to make them objectively better. There's a lot of effort gone into this character, and I can understand a lot of the decisions made. Even though I don't agree with all of them, there's a lot of good stuff here, and I respect it. I hope Bowser gets better in the future. I'm looking forward to it. However, no matter what I think of Beyond Melee Bowser, I can really appreciate the massive amount of effort that has gone into Beyond Melee. Melee was pretty meh when it came to modding a long time ago, and it's kind of crazy to see how far it's come. On top of that, they fucking killed Wispy, and thank fuck I hate this stupid green blowy bitch, fucking piece of shit, dumbass mother- 